All right, folks, today I'm going to perform a taste test between my Patriot Supply, which uses Ready Hour, uh, Ready Project here in the middle, and Ready Wise here on the end. Uh, now, I have uh, reviewed these and tasted different packages uh, in previous uh, videos, which I'll put in cards up here, and I'll also put them down in the description as a URL, and hopefully you can go check those out too. And today I'm going to taste the cheddar cheese grits from the Ready Patriot and the mac and cheese from both the My Patriot Supply and the Ready Wise. All right, so here you have the three different packages. One here is the cheddar cheese grits from Ready Project and the mac and cheese from My Patriot Supply, which uses Ready Hour, and the cheesy macaroni from Ready Wise. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these upstairs. I'm going to look at the directions. Um, I'm going to cook these um, similarly. I think they all are cooked similarly uh, in, in uh, boiling hot water. And then I'm going to pour them into a little uh, bowl and uh, I'm going to taste test them. All right. See which one's best. I have no idea. I have a, I have a guess. I do have a slight idea uh, because I've tasted um, product from each of these survival kits before um, so I, I hope uh, that it's not all the same you know maybe they do have um, better food in different packaging don't know I'm gonna find out today uh, there is one other um, survival food that I found out about it's called four Patriots and uh, I might pick some of that up and do another um, video of that later on. But today I'll be taste testing My Patriot Supply, Ready Project, and Ready Wise. All right, you guys ready to start cooking? Let's go. All right, now I'm up in the kitchen and I have all three of these meals, the two mac and cheeses uh, from Ready Wise and My Patriot Supply, and the cheddar cheese grits from Ready Project and you can see the directions right there they read uh, add a quarter cup of cheddar cheese grits mix to one cup of boiling water so um, and simmer on medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes until desired consistency so um, I'm gonna cook these and the cheesy macaroni from ready wise here are the directions for that. It wants you to bring four cups of water to boil, add contents of pouch into the boiling water and stir. It says to turn off heat and cover, let stand for 12 to 15 minutes. And that's similar to what I did before uh, with their product and that did not cook it well enough. I had to, I had to continue to cook it and it was a pasta dish too. So um, I'm going to cook this, uh, I'm going to keep it and simmer it for 12 to 15 minutes instead of just letting it sit there. And I'll check on it for consistency to make sure uh, I like my macaroni and cheese kind of al dente, you know. So we'll cook that like that. And ready our mac and cheese. Here are the directions for it. If you can read that, let's see. I don't think it was focusing for you guys. So basically, basically it says open pouch, remove oxygen absorber, which is a smart thing to say. <laughs> Whisk contents into four and a half cups of water and then bring them to boil and uh, reduce heat and cook them for 15 to 20 minutes. This is, I think I'm gonna cook these kind of similarly, the two mac and cheeses. Um, remove from heat, let stand three to four minutes and then they'll be ready to go all right so let's start cooking all right i've started uh i have four and a half cups here i have four cups here and this is what the uh my patriot mac and cheese is going to go into i have one cup of water over here and this is what the ready project uh cheesy grits are going to go into i have to wait for this to boil before i pour them in though i can go ahead and Pour the packages into these two pots here. All right, here's the Ready Wise package. I'm looking for um, 
the oxygen absorber and I don't see it yet so I'll have to find that before I pour it all in or kind of pour it and look for it at the same time. Alright I found it right here take this out and I can pour the rest of the package in here all right here's the uh, my Patriot supply and the absorber is right on top so I'll pull that out and go ahead and pour this in Now I have a quarter cup of cheddar cheese grits. It's going to go into this uh, boiling water. And this is from Ready Project. All right, this is five minutes in, and this is the My Patriot Supply mac and cheese. This is the Ready Wise mac and cheese. And here is the cheesy grits from Ready Project cooking away. Alright, this is at 10 minutes. You have the My Patriot supply here. Ready wise here. Let's look at them after 10 minutes. See what the uh, mac and cheese kind of looks like in there. And what the mac and cheese looks like here for ready wise. And you got the grits over here. Let me turn them down just a hair. About five more minutes. Right, now they are cooked. Again, my Patriot Supply, Ready Wise, and the grits. And I'm letting them uh, sit here for another two to three minutes um, just to cool down. And then I'll put them into these bowls. and have a taste test. All right, so I've got the bowls for My Patriot Supply, Ready Wise, and Ready Project. I'm gonna scoop out the uh, grits, the cheesy grits from Ready Project and put them in the bowl for my taste test here. All right, so that's, that's enough for a taste test. Now I'll go for the Ready Wise you can tell it's ready wise because they had the longer noodles. Let me move this back. Looks like it's uh, it has a pretty good cheesy look and consistency to it. Doesn't smell bad. And now it's the my Patriot Supply. That here, pull out some of it. Put that in here. All right. So here we have it. We have mac and cheese from My Patriot Supply, from Ready Wise, and some cheesy grits from Ready Project. All right. So here goes the taste test. And uh, just so you guys know, I am from the South, and I do love my grits. All right. So still warm um, the consistency they're, they're very thin grits they're not um, not as thick as what I'm used to but uh, let me taste this mm. there is a bit of a cheesy taste to it and the grits are actually uh, good I would say that um, This is actually not bad. And uh, this is from an avid grit eater. So I do like the way that they um, season the, their grits. So I would say I would give this a good. It's really good. As far as looks go, um, probably doesn't look like it should taste good, but this is good stuff. I like it. All right, next is going to be the Ready Wise mac and cheese. Um, I'm very 
interested they look really good um, some really nice texture to the uh, the cheesy the stuff that's supposed to be cheesy in here so um, let's taste it still got the steam coming off I would say um, sorry but it's bland it's cooked well um, consistency is good the noodles are actually good it's just the seasoning is very bland I definitely need some salt and pepper on here uh, to bring the taste up a little bit but all that cheesy sauce that you saw um, sorry there's nothing to it <laughs> um, no the grits are definitely better it's just a very blandness to this my Patriot supply doesn't look the best um, because uh, you know it doesn't didn't look as good as the uh, ready wise let's see how it tastes there is a little bit of sauce down here in the bottom so I'll pick that up Good taste definitely on the good side yeah this is good stuff well I like this it tastes like uh, what mac and cheese should taste like um, it's not it's not the greatest but as far as survival food it's pretty good um, I would definitely say that it um, edges out the grits not to say that you know if the grits were better I would rather eat the grits myself because you know like I said I do enjoy grits um, and definitely for breakfast over um, mac and cheese so I would say that uh, my Patriot um, mac and cheese is definitely better than that Ready Wise mac and cheese. All right. See you in a second. All right, so there you go. That was the taste test. Seems to me like my Patriot Supply won overall with their uh, mac and cheese. Um, Ready Project came in second place with those cheesy grits. Um, and Ready Wise, um, they didn't hit the mark again for me. Um, if you see my last video, they, uh, the taste at the end wasn't very good either. So um, honestly, at this point, I wouldn't recommend Ready Wise for anyone out there. Sorry. Um, Ultimately, in the survival situation, if it came to it, I would eat the stuff, you know, obviously. But um, as a preferred uh, taste, <laughs> it it's just doesn't have it. It's, it's pretty bland. Uh, that's two different uh, types of meals I've had from Ready Wise, and both of them are very, very bland. So if you guys like our videos, please go ahead and click like. And also, please go ahead and subscribe. We appreciate you guys watching. Um, next thing I'll do is probably uh, go out and get some of that Four Patriots survival food um, and do a review of it and taste test it at the end and uh, see if I like it better than any of these other um, survival food uh, that's out on the market. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Which one of these tastes better? I don't know. A taste contest. Taste off. Taste off. Is that is that a thing? Ready hour? What's it called? Packages. Whatever that is. Test, 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 test.